going on everyone Desi here and I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video for you guys today we're gonna to be unboxing um, something I ordered from seance records um, just one item but I thought it was worthy of uh, an unboxing for you guys um, let's get some music spinning in the background first Sounds good. Um, the Hexen, um, by the blessing of Satan. Uh, this is some Finnish black metal. <clears throat> Sick shit. Um, nice and raw. It's a, it's a digi pack. <clears throat> There's a disc for you there. I'm going to pop this bad boy in. And uh, get rocking. This is also the first time um, I've ordered from Seance Records. Um, check it out, you guys. They got some sick shit there. Sorry, my CD player takes this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Fuck yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, the box. Where is the mail? Bam. The mail. All right. So, uh, open this up and show you guys what I got. Oh, stuff. Yes. I'm pretty excited to get this. Um, where's the... You can see that. There you go. Uh, Seance Records logo. Pretty sick. Alright. Here it is, guys. Drowning the Light. Um, this is their album, uh, Selfie Blood and Satanic Bride. <clears throat> um, from 2007, I believe. And this is also um, a pretty raw black metal band. <clears throat> and Australian black metal, actually. Um, and what's interesting about this release is uh, the OBI strip. Um, this is a Jap Japanese release, and um, I had to have it, man. Um, fucking sick. Um, there's the back. Uh, limited to uh, 500 copies. Back of the OBI strip there. Um, this is a, an alternate cover than uh, first release. Um, this um, came out. I'm not sure when the first release actually was printed, um, but completely different uh, cover art there. Um, you know which one I prefer better. I think I don't know. I like them both. This one's really really nice though. Nice cover art on there. Yeah, man. Fucking sick. Really sick insert. Um, hit your uh, stone edge. And then on the back is some credits, uh, two photos. Really nice. Well done. Not sure what color it is. Probably black, yeah. Uh, just a black vinyl for you guys, I guess. In a paper sleeve. <coughs> which I'll be uh, replacing with the uh, polyeth line one, obviously. Actually, I'll be replacing this paper crap um, with one of these, um, the poly sleeve, um, original master sleeves. They're a little pricey, but um, I'll pretty much go uh, with any poly F1 sleeve over um, paper one, mainly because um, every time you take uh, your record out of a paper sleeve, any paper sleeve it scratches the fuck out of it. Do you hear that? I don't even want to do it. Um, and the static in there. So I'm just going to take it out right now. So yeah, um, if you guys didn't know that, fucking, if you can get your hands on some of these and replace all your, you know, all your vinyl or at least all your rare ones into something like this, then that's good. You can't, you can't, but um, yeah, and then it's also nice because uh, 
you know, on some releases you get um, a nice printed um, inner sleeve of sick pictures, uh, lyrics, whatever it may be, uh, and then in and out, in and out, in and out, and scratching it, and it's also wrecking the nice picture sleeve, either by putting a ring around it from being in there over the years, or um, splits. Eventually it'll split, no matter how hard you try to take care of it, it will split on you, so. Um, poly sleeves, man. Anyways, <laughs> back to uh, the record. So yeah, it was Black Vinyl, you guys. Um, and this is what I got from Seance Records, so uh, check it out, you guys. Fucking, uh, I'm not sure if they have any of these left, <laughs> um, but they could um, check out the website and uh, see. Um, pretty sick shit. Um, and in the background, like I said, we're spinning with the Hexen, fucking sick finish, black metal, sick Australian black metal, and that was the unboxing, guys, so, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and again, stay fucking metal.